tragedy in Monrovia. The community there mourning the loss of a high school teen shot and killed over the weekend. KKL 9's Dave Lopez is live with more on how the young man is being remembered. Dave. Well, it's a real mystery. Behind me is the skateboard park where uh, this uh, young man, 18-year-old Oscar Garcia, spent many an hour dreaming of one day becoming a professional skateboarder. Everyone who knows him and detectives confirm it. He was a very nice, decent young man. He was not in any trouble, had no gang affiliation whatsoever. And so why, they ask, is the suspect who killed him allegedly has gang ties, described only as a 20-year-old, and he's on the loose. A skateboard signed by many of his skateboarding buddies is the centerpiece of the memorial that is just outside the Monrovia home where 18-year-old Oscar Garcia lived with his five other brothers and sisters. The fact that he was so young and that his birthday was coming up. <laughs> At the skateboard park not far from his home where he spent so many hours, many of his Canyon Oaks high school classmates stood in silence, not wanting to believe that he's dead. <laughs> but I just want him back. There's not a person on the campus or in the community that didn't like Oscar. Family and friends described him as deeply religious. It was his dream to become a professional skateboarder. Late Saturday night, he was working out with his brother at their home. His brother said he got a call. He said, I'll be back. And he took off on a skateboard and headed a few miles away by himself into this neighborhood. It was on Cypress Street where Garcia went into a back house where there was an open garage. Detectives wouldn't give us the exact address, but neighbors confirm this is the walkway that the 20-year-old suspect walked up that night. Detectives do say that once he went through a gate into that back area, he confronted Garcia and another teenage boy and a teenage girl that were back there with him. There was some type of argument, according to the detectives, and then the suspect pulled out a handgun and opened fire. Detectives say Garcia was shot multiple times, so was the other teenage boy who has survived and is in serious condition. The teenage girl was left alone. Totally unharmed, that 18-year-old. We do not know if she's cooperating with police or not. I should, I sh I should say she's 17-year-old, identified as a 17-year-old. Again, the suspect, after shooting the two men, killing Oscar, simply walked back up that driveway, jumped a fence, and took off. The search is on, and the question, why? painfully cannot be answered yet. Back to you in the studio.